Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Before we start, go ahead and click that subscribe button and make sure your notification bell is ticked so you do not miss out on any new videos. Today's menu is steamed fish with lime and garlic, Thai style. And I'll be using a ikan siakap, also known as sea based fish. So, this is it. And just add salt over the fish, both front and back, as well as inside. One teaspoon would be sufficient. So, just wipe that across. Make sure your hands are clean before doing it. Alright, and that's it. Now we can steam it. I don't have a steamer, so I'm doing the old-fashioned way of using a wok, adding some water and putting the plate of fish on top. Then cover it. And we'll just let it steam for 20 minutes, not longer than that. In the meantime, let's make the sauce. So. Let's look at the ingredients that we'll be needing. 8 ingredients Water Garlic Sugar Fish sauce Spring onions Chicken stock, that's a special ingredient that I like Chili padi Lemon juice For the chili padi, I'm using 4 Chili paddy is also known as bird's eye chili, so just chop it very fine because we'll be adding it into the sauce. If you like it spicier, you can add in more chili. Now for the lemon juice, I'm using one whole lemon. So just And I'm using this juice squeezer to get the lemon juice. And this is the second half already squeezed as well. So this is it. One lemon juice. Alright, so once prepared all that, let's start adding in all the ingredients. That was water I added in. 100 ml. Now this is chicken stock. I'm using 1 teaspoon. And chicken stock is a bit controversial to use with a fish dish, but it really gives it a nice flavor to it. So you can definitely try it out. Right, now add in garlic. I'm using 2 tablespoons. The lemon juice. Sugar, 2 teaspoons. This will help reduce the sour taste from the lemon. Now add in fish sauce. I'll be using 5 tablespoons for this. Chili padi, bird's eye chili used four and last but not least the spring onions so this is just a handful it's really up to you how much you want to use and now let's go and check in back on the steam fish all right so it looks perfectly cooked nice and hot now I've added the fish to a serving dish and for the last bit add the sauce to the fish 
for me personally, I like to keep half of the sauce aside so I can have it together with my rice. Or you can just go ahead and add the whole sauce to the fish. And this is Thai style steamed fish with lime and garlic made at home. Thanks for watching and if you liked it, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.